<laughs> my wife and I are interracial couple. Uh, she's black, and I am. Uh, thank you very much for that. And I'm less black. And, uh, aren't you clapping for that one? <laughs> but, uh, and it's weird because even if these years people get weird about interracial couples, I have buddies from college, white guys, and I was like, well, Alex, why white, why a black woman? I'm like, I don't know, because black guys don't do it for me. <laughs> it's great. People come up to us and they're like, well, you guys are together because you find each other exotic. Right, I'm like, my wife is from Detroit, not Narnia. <laughs> I'm a neurotic Jewish New Yorker. I'm only exotic if you've never seen Seinfeld. <laughs> Another dude said to me once, right after the show, in fact, he's like, you guys are only together because you have jungle fever. Yeah, which I resent because it suggests that black people and white people can't be in relationship together as a weird sexual fetish. I was like, dude, we're married. Like, there's nothing sexual about that. <laughs> We have a seven-year-old, you understand that? <laughs> we don't even have sex in our dreams anymore. <laughs> My sex dreams now are me sleeping, dreaming of taking a nap. <laughs> I'm so, I don't realize I'm with sex. I think it was like last fiscal quarter. <laughs> we just have to measure time. No, it's been a really long time. Like, a really long. Like, it's been so long. Like, my wife does anything remotely suggestive. I'm there. The other day, she came home. She took off her hat. Like, let's talk. Today, she was making my son a grilled cheese sandwich. Because that's all they fucking eat. I know that. Mary Man knows that. Keep the pants like, Yeah. So I'm serious. Like, if cheese didn't exist, my son would have died of starvation six and a half years ago. <laughs> so she's bent down to get the cheese out of the cheese drawer. Oh, you must have kids. Cheese must go in the bottom drawer. You put the cheese anywhere but the bottom drawer, you will be in fucking marriage hell. Right? <laughs> so she's bent down to get the cheese out of the cheese drawer, and her ass was in the air. No, of course she's fucking asking for it. <laughs> now, it was 7 in the morning. And she was wearing these old sweatpants she's got. Because she hasn't shaved her legs since the Johnson administration. <laughs> And these really baggy wool socks she wears. Because her toenails look like a hose on a Shetland pony. And a headscarf, because who knew black women dress up to go to bed? <laughs> Live and learn, right? But her ass was in the air. I'm like, oh, she's fucking begging for it. And I'm just the guy to give it to her. I was like that squirrel in Ice Age. Ted, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Joke was this is the fuck you made in that line. The thing is, my wife is taller than I am. So I can't just give it to her because I asked her to be here. I'd be like fucking her kneecaps. <laughs> So I did what my son does when he wants to kick me in the nuts. I backed up the apartment. I started running. <laughs> don't. Don't do this. Uh, I hit her. She went in the fridge, broke the fridge. My nose went in her ass. She was not happy about that. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, I was in the neighborhood. 